Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and this is our daily show. Unfortunately, we were unable to get you guys a first look show, but um, if you're subscribed, we did get you our four picks. We had our picks ready to go. We were ready to go over the recap. We had a really good night um, with our uh, with our video picks. We had a lot of fun in our Discord, and then um, Jordy was uh, uninformed that uh, his uh, internet had like uh, some maintenance they had to do. So we were unable to put the video out. Um, sometimes when uh, something like that pops up, the other one of us, like I could typically just put out a video. Um, but in this case, it was like so late and um, it's just, it would have taken a lot longer to get the, the video out to you guys. So, so we just posted the video via post. And so hopefully you were able to jump on those plays. Um, those are, you know, still going to be considered our, our plays for the day. And we've got four more, uh, four more for you today. We're going to be talking about the, uh, the NBA slate on February 29th. Um, so Wednesday, and uh, we've got eight games. We've already got, uh, we had some value on the board immediately. Um, it was a lot of fun. Like what a wild end to that Lakers game, uh, last night. Um, our discord was just absolutely lit <laughs> because we weren't expecting LeBron to, uh, bring that game back in the fourth quarter. That was super exciting to watch. And, um, we had that, uh, that other super close game with the bulls. Um, man, we, uh, I, we, honestly, I'm just lucky that, uh, Allen, uh, Allen's dunks weren't available for, um, for the daily show yesterday, because, um, I would have had that in our picks. And if you guys, you know, use our picks, you would have uh, been burned by Allen because we, I had him in like every slip. We had the DMP. So it was kind of one of those nights where like I had uh, that De'Aaron Fox play. I had several different types of De'Aaron Fox plays like in all of my slips. So I had like a DMP to start and then um, took Allen's dunks in like every slip too. So, uh, we made de we're definitely able to make a little bit of uh, money and salvage the night on uh, some plays in our Discord um, later on. But, anyways, guys, yeah, let's uh, let's get into um, these uh, plays that we're going to be covering. Um, uh, I'm going to be uh, going with Giannis Antetokounmpo over two and a half dunks, and uh, Victor Wimbanyama over four and a half blocks and steals. Uh, what are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, um, I'm switching up a little bit today. I'm going with John Collins' first half PRA, and I'm taking Lou Dort for over 1.5 threes made. All right. When I was picking out my plays today, I was like a little bit, I don't want to say conflicted. Like sometimes I'll I'll have plays that I directly go towards. Like, like last night's plays were just plays that I straight up like was feeling really good about. Um, still feel good about him. I made a I made a bunch of slips last night with those two plays on my end that I put out Jay Crowder and um, Chet Holmgren um, on my end. I, I mixed those up a little bit, and um, obviously the uh, Kaminga assist play, which is probably the the freest play we have. You know, like anything can happen, but that feels like a discounted play. You know, um, but but yeah, like as I was picking out the plays today. Sometimes it's like I'm I'm looking at the board and I have I feel like I have no choice but to share plays. Like I know this Giannis Dunks prop is going to be in a bunch of my slips, so I want to share that with you know the community. And then um, this Victor Wimbanyama play um, was I don't even know who called it out first, um, but someone in our Discord found this play. I know Moose was playing it as well. I, I saw he played it a few. Um, I, I wish I could remember who who uh, called this out first. Um, but uh, but yeah, this was a play that was found in our Discord, and it's just so good, in my opinion, that um, I I had to share it with you guys. Um, so whoever whoever got on this first, um, good call. And um, yeah, so I'm like, this is going to be in my in so many of my slips. So got to share it with the uh, YouTube community and Rumble, whatever you're watching on. Um, but anyways, guys, um, let's break these down. Um, well, we're not going to break them down yet. Before we do, um, we'll, we'll go over our recap. We're excited, man. We uh, we went seven to seven. Um, we had the one DMP, um, but uh, that was the the DMP was one of the plays I was most confident in that De'Aaron Fox play. So I think we could have had like a full on eight of eight sweep. But hopefully, you guys were able to take advantage of uh, some of those plays yesterday and cash in on some of those. 
obviously that's more than enough to build out a six man. And um, I've been doing like six man slips and then I've been hedging my bets with uh, two man plays. Uh, Moose really got me on that. Um, Moose, you guys have heard me talk about him before. He's like the, the two man maestro is what I was, I've been calling him for a, a long time. But like, it's because he, uh, he had a similar situation where, you know, he was going on a string of like these close, these close calls. And then he's like, I'm gonna just start getting more into like the two man plays. And I, I honestly wasn't a huge fan because like a lot of people, I, I tend to like to hit those bigger plays like the five and the six man slips. But um, Moose got on such a heater. I'm like, I got to start doing these two mans with him too. And so um, it's a really great way to hedge your, your plays for the night. You know, like I'll do like uh, one or I'll do like two or three like two man slips and, um, you know, put a little bit more. I'll do like three or four units on on a couple of those. And then if they hit, you end up still in the green on the night, even if you're your bigger plays where you're aiming for like a 25 X, you know, or higher. Um, if they don't pan out, instead of just doubling up, you're still, uh, you know, walking away with a, a decent amount of money on the night. So anyways, um, let's let's break down these uh, this recap real quick. Um, all right. So I think it was. Yeah. So in the night video, I had taken Terrence Mann over 17 and a half uh, PRA. He ended up uh, uh, cash in this one. He went for 24 and Jokic uh, rebounds and assists. We took him for 22 and a half. Uh, he ended up crushing this. He went for 25. It's crazy. Like Jokic goes for uh, more rebounds and assists than Terrence Mann did uh, points, rebounds and assists. Yeah, like Jokic is just like, he's, he's on a wild heater again, which is nice to see. But um, how'd you end up doing on the, on the night show, Jordy? Yeah. Um, I had the deer and fox DNP, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> we have apparently we have some doctors in the comments because they're all saying they're roasting me because a bruise is a contusion. So, <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, I don't think that's common knowledge. Maybe I'm just dumb. But um, I didn't. I didn't know that either. I mean, I don't really. I, I can't tell you the last time I looked up the word contusion. I know. Out of curiosity, me, like, what does like, that mean? Like a, a break or like a you know a hole or something. But I guess it's just a bruise. Yeah. Um. And then we took LeBron James for 1.5 threes. Obviously, if you guys watched that game, that was a very special performance he put on. He went for seven threes. Um, he only had one, or he had two going into that fourth quarter. And uh, the Clippers were up by 21, and he hits uh, five threes in that fourth quarter, which is a, a career high for him. And it, it was crazy. Ended up cashing one of my other plays for the day show, which I'll get into in a minute here. Yeah, man, um, that was so that was so fun too. Because um, in our Discord, we were uh, making out some. I think it was what, what did I do? Yeah, like we, we were making the when that when that game uh, at the half, we were all kind of bummed because I mean our entire Discord was on that Allen Dunks prop. <laughs> like we were we were like begging for overtime and then we get overtime we're like yes there's a chance and then they don't play Allen in overtime and then we're like double overtime come on come on we get it and then they're just like they got Allen chilling on the bench and guess what the Cavs ended up losing that game that's what you get Cleveland but um I'm just like I don't I don't understand you know you have uh, Andre Drummond Vucevic fouls out. You have Andre Drummond who ends up going for 25 rebounds. He's in there just dominating the paint and you have Evan Mobley matched up. You know, you, you, yeah, like you, <laughs> why don't you have Allen in there? And obviously I'm biased because I want him to get one more dunk. Yeah. But even from a just basketball standpoint, it didn't make sense to, to match up Evan Mobley with uh, Drummond and they ended up losing that game. Not saying that's why, but maybe you should have had Allen in there. Um, but, but anyways, um, yeah, LeBron, uh, ended up, we, uh, we took, uh, we took some second half slips because our night hadn't gone the way we wanted it to. And we don't typically like to chase, but in this case, um, Moose found this, uh, I don't know. I guess it, it that mine wasn't, it, it was like, it was just a full game slip. Yeah. Moose had found this, uh, hardened free throws play that I really liked. And I ended up pairing that with LeBron assists and LeBron ended up cashing everything when it looked like it was just, he was not going to hit anyways, guys, it was a fun night. You should definitely check out our discord. Um, the community, like it, it's just become addicting at this point for me. Like, um, 
We have such a good time in there. Uh, if you're interested in checking it out, there's a link in the description of the video. It's about 50 cents a day. And um, it, you know, you can you can ask people uh, in our Discord how they how they like it. Like it's just the com the community itself has become such a valuable resource for us. But it's just been awesome getting to know these people. And uh, every single night, it's like we go through basketball. Right when basketball's wrapping up, we're getting into esports. And um, I don't know, it's just really good community. No drama. There's no there's no jerks in there. Um, just a lot of different perspectives on the games and together i mean like this victor womanyama play this is a discord play um i'm not gonna like try to take credit for it but i just wanted to share it with you guys because i feel so good about it so go with your gut um but yeah um oh yeah i, I i'm not even done with the recap that's my bad i'm moving a little slow today um so in the day show i took uh, vince williams over four and a half assists he ended up cashing for six Scotty Barnes, uh, he's he's being a man of his word and he's trying to average that triple double. Um, uh, he uh, we took him for 15 and a half rebounds and assists. He went for 18. How'd you do in the day show, bro? I mean, you did good. Obviously, we got the yeah. sweep. So, um, so I taken Ao or Io Desumu, um for over 1.5 threes. He had three. Um, he had two in the fourth quarter. Obviously, that game went to double overtime. So. He would have had more opportunities, but he didn't get any in either overtime. So I'm glad he cashed those in the fourth. Um, and then D'Angelo Russell. This play looked like it was dead in the water. Um, he only had two Good. assists going into the fourth quarter, and he was playing so bad. He starts out the fourth quarter with a turnover, like one of the worst turnovers I've ever seen. He just literally like threw it right to the guy. And um, I was like, oh my God, he's going to get benched. And then he, he kind of put his head down and he, they got to work. Him and LeBron, um, he was just pulling a lot of the defense, getting down in the paint, and then he'd kick it to LeBron, and LeBron just started cooking. I mean, he I think LeBron hit three of the assists for us with his three-pointers, and um, we needed one more. And then right at the end of the game, I mean, they came back from 21-point deficit, and um, I'm a Clippers fan. Not like That's not like my team. I just love this Clippers team. So I kind of wanted to see them win the game, but I was like, you can't deny what's going on here. Like, this is this is a special run. And um, so Russell ended up getting a – he threw the ball down to a, I think it was Rui Hachimura, and he he drove it in on a two-dribble bounce, thank God, and got it, it was, into the paint. So It was Rui because yeah. uh, I, I was counting his steps to the basket. Yeah. And uh, he yeah, took, like, it's two dribbles. It's got to be, like, two dribbles or less. So – it yeah, was, and, uh, and uh, was after that second dribble, I saw him going from like, "Yes, dude, put that in." Yeah, and uh, it, it, it was fun. It our our Discord out. erupted when that play happened, and it was a good time. So we uh, we had the sweep um, with one DNP. Unfortunately, I think De'Aaron could have hit for us, but uh, he had a knee bruise, contusion, whatever you want to call it. So he had to sit out that game. But even that game, that Kings and Denver game was good for a while, and then I think Denver kind of pulled away, but. It was a good. It was a good night of basketball for sure. It's fun time. Yeah, man. And shout out to Moose and Konzel. Moose had to work um, his normal job like during the day, and he he came in like very late into the NBA slate and threw out some plays that ended up hitting and salvaged the night for a lot of people who who um, had a lot of winning plays, but just had them you know mixed and matched to where they you know they were taking bigger slips and then. Moose came in and found some bangers uh, to close us out with uh, with some wins across the board, but it's really good environment. I, I love it in there. So yeah, if you guys end up checking out the Discord, like I said, it's about 50 cents a day. Um, just go uh, through the link in the description, then go up at a server subscriptions. Once you're in Discord, subscribe and it'll unlock all the channels. Hop into community chat. Let us know you're in there. Let us know you're new. We'll show you how, every, how everything works and uh, I'm sure you'll love it. So, all right, um, let's get into these plays. <clears throat> So uh, starting for me with Giannis Antetokounmpo here, um, you know, actually, gosh, I almost forgot. Before I get started, I want to quickly tell you guys about Chalkboard. Um, Chalkboard is quickly becoming my favorite platform. Uh, we partnered up with them and uh, we we kind of connected with them because I really liked what they were doing. Jord Jordy liked what they were doing and uh, they liked what we were doing. So, we're like, OK, this seems like a good fit um, to partner up. But I loved them back in the day just because I don't know any other platform that you can set your own lines. And not only when you like, can you set your lines, but if you set your lines higher, um, you actually get an increased multiplier by quite a bit. Like uh, we see multipliers on there that are like 4X for like one play. 
um, you know, all sorts of plays that are like 3.5 X and higher um, because you see some discrepancies. <clears throat> so it's kind of like the demon plays on prize picks. You can adjust your lines to whatever you want, but if you, if you bump your lines higher, they give you a higher payout for them. And um, so I was like, okay, this, this makes sense. This is fair. Like, because they're giving you so much freedom to adjust these lines that you do have to hit every line or every pick on your slip to cash it. And then chalkboard goes and creates the shield play, which is basically like flex plays or insured plays. So now you can create your own lines, uh, bets as low as a dollar per slip, and you don't even have to hit every uh, pick on your entry to cash. So definitely take advantage of that. Like um, it's iOS only, but they have an Android version coming March 18th. So if you uh, don't have an iPhone, just sit tight because Android's coming, desktop's coming. Uh, we've been uh, in regular contact with their reps now and they've got so much stuff uh, you know, in the works. Um, it's, it's an awesome uh, platform. Definitely check it out. Use code backdoor and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. Um, they're just going to double what you put on. So if you deposit the whole hundred, you'll get 200 to play with. There's a link in the description of the video. Just make sure you use code backdoor and you'll get your uh, deposit matched up to hundred. Um, but guys, it's, it's a, it's a great platform and there's all sorts of props on there that you're not going to see anywhere else. Um, a lot of 0.5 props, like all sorts of players that are like 0.5 assists and yeah, they don't hit the, their assist that often. But if you want to take a shot on something like that, like what did they have? They had like, um, uh, Evan Mobley three-pointer prop on there for 0.5. So if you made one, it paid out like 3.5x. That's not one in particular we were going to go with, but sometimes if you want to just throw a dollar on a slip and put some YOLO plays together that pay out like 100x, um, those opportunities are there on chalkboard. But <clears throat> all right, so Giannis Antetokounmpo. Sorry, this one's taking a little bit longer. We didn't do the, the night video, so we kind of have a lot to cover uh, in just the daily show today. But um, this game does have potential for blowout. Obviously, I I don't it, I wouldn't be shocked if this turned into a blowout. But I think Giannis is going to eat uh, as far as dunking goes against this matchup. Um, Two seventeen and a half over under. Uh, Bucks favored by eleven and a half. Hopefully, Charlotte can keep that close. The Bucks have been in a situation where they um, they don't just go dominate some of these teams that they should dominate. So hopefully, uh, the game stays. If it stays within that twelve point range. We won't have we won't see like starters getting benched and whatnot. Obviously, we have Jay Crowder in the same game from last night's video or last night's picks. So I'm not too concerned about this getting in the way of either of those plays. Um, if we take a look at Giannis here, going over two and a half dunks is really easy for him. <clears throat> we we've talked about how we miss the the classic uh, NBA where dunking was just a big part of the game, and Giannis is one of the only people in the NBA still that plays with that classic approach where he's dunking the ball a lot and he's aggressive, you know, in the paint. He's gone over this six out of his last 10 games. Um, and uh, if we look at uh, his last five, he's gone over it three out of five. Um, but he had that one game against Minnesota where he was just one away from cashing it again. So really close to a four out of five. Um, the last game that he played was against Charlotte and he went for four. Now um, on outlier here, if we uh, go over to this tab that uh, is head to head, you can see what he's done against this team specifically. And he's gone over this in back-to-back -back games against them. So um, I'm feeling really good about this play. Um, the matchup is just not like these guys do. They don't have the manpower to, to handle Giannis. Um, points allowed, they are 11th in points allowed to uh, power forwards. Um, but I mean, it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think he's gonna get some dunks in this game. So I'm definitely gonna be taking this uh, play in uh in multiple slips this will be one of my sort of my foundational plays i'm not going to make the same mistake i did with uh with uh, jared allen yesterday i really overextended myself um you got to keep an eye on stuff like that and uh, i'm usually good about that but um you know sometimes you're building out all these slips and you go back and look through them and then you get like a dmp like uh dr and fox and you're like oh my god it's in every slip i've got um, so keep an eye on that, you know, diversify your slips and make sure you're not, uh, you know, overweight in uh, one particular prop. Um, but I'm going to be taking that. Um, Daily Grind does not cover uh, dunk props yet. So I'm, I'm going to skip that one and I'll try to get this thing moving a little bit quicker here. Victor Wimbanyama. Let's take a look at this uh, blocks and steals. 
This game probably has blowout potential too. Yeah, similar situation, 238 over under. We've got the Thunder favored by 11 again. So once again, if we can keep, if this spread stays around this, um, we don't, don't have to worry about uh, players getting benched or anything. But uh, Victor is, Victor is just a monster when it comes to blocks and steals. Um, if we take a look at, if we take a look at his last five, I mean, it's just silly. He, he had 10 blocks and steals against Sacramento. He had 10 blocks and steals against LA, um, six against Utah, six against Minnesota. Like, so you, you have three really difficult matchups here where he went for 10, 10, and six. Um, so I, I, I've got to stay in the flames with, uh, with him here. Um, he's averaging 30 minutes a game, just two fouls. So he's not getting in foul trouble. He's looking like exactly like the freak we thought he would be coming into the NBA. Um, the matchup for blocks and steals is it's okay. You know, it's, it's nothing too crazy. Um, as far as OKC goes, they're a good team, you know, so they're not getting in uh, trouble turning the ball over too much, but <clears throat> to center specifically, they're fourth in steals allowed just under one per game, but this is not your typical center. Um, I think a lot of these players aren't ready for what they're dealing with, with this kid, because there's not really anyone in the NBA like him right now. Um, and uh, then you've got uh, their 11th in blocks allowed, uh, almost two blocks per game. But with him going for six against Minnesota, 10 against LA, 10 against Sacramento, like I'm definitely going to stay in the flames here and expect him to get at least five, which would be the lowest he's done in, in four games if he, if he just gets five. Um, so feeling good about this play. If we hop over to daily grind for this play, um, they do have this favor to go over. They have it at a 52.12% odds to hit the over. They have it at a minus 127. And every odds maker on Daily Grind uh, has at a minus 125 or higher to go over. So feeling really good about this play. If you guys are interested in checking out this app, Outlier, it's the best statistical analysis app on the market. You hear me say it every video. It's because it's true. Like I, I've looked at the competition. I've looked at other uh, platforms that make this kind of software and there it there's no one like them it's the cleanest it gives you way more information than all of the competitors um and we've partnered up with them so they're giving all of our viewers a seven day free trial so you can just go risk free and uh, just check this out for seven days see how you like it there's a link in the description of the video but i promise you it will help your plays it'll help your picks that the research that you get from this app is amazing so definitely check it out and uh, i'm going to pass it over to jordy to wrap up these uh these last two breakdowns sweet yeah man um so before I get into my plays, um, I just want to tell you guys about one more of our sponsors really quick, and that's Daily Grind. Um, Daily Grind has been with us from the beginning. We really appreciate everything they've done for this channel. And, um, you know, their DFS tools are the best on the market, in my opinion. Um, we use their DFS optimizer. Um, it's the one you guys see us use all the time. And, um, you know, it's a place where you can get all your odds makers lined up nice and clean for you. Um, they have their own odds makers who are very, very accurate in my opinion. Um, they're one of our favorites. And they have the odds to hit um, category in the same section on the DFS optimizer. And that just shows you like the actual true odds and it gets rid of all of the public influence behind some of the odds makers. So it gives you like the truest um, percentage to hit, which is a really, really unique take on all this stuff. And uh, it helps in this crazy world of um, prop taking and all that stuff. So definitely go check them out um they're hooking all of our viewers up with 25 percent off so if you go to the link in the description and you use code backdoor at checkout they'll hook you guys up with those sweet deals and uh definitely go take advantage of that so um all right um this john collins this one is not on dg because it's a first half prop but um i feel really good about this one he's done this in seven out of ten games and 11 out of his last 20 and he's done it in three out of his last five um you know it's it, it's more consistent than his regular pra um surprisingly a bulk of of what he does comes in the first half so i'm gonna just roll the dice on it on this one time and just see how it goes um you know it's it's it, it looks pretty good in the head-to-head -head, he's hit this um once that's the only time he's played them in recent years and um he went for 21 pra in the first half he had 15 points and six rebounds um, if he plays the five, which he has been a lot lately, and they've been having Walker Kessler relieve him off the bench, um, it's a decent matchup. 11th in points allowed, 12th in rebounds, 10th in assists. If he starts at the four tonight, it's a tough matchup, but he did have a great game against them. Um, if you want the full PRA, you can go with that too. Um, you know, it's the same story, but like I said, 20 of this came in the first half, so he only ended with 30. So, um, 
yeah 21 pra so he had nine more pra in the second half so he's just a really good first half player um is what i'm seeing on the trend here and uh so i'm gonna go with the first half tonight um there's not much more to say about this one he usually gets about 15 minutes in the first half if you want to look here um he's usually about 15 or more minutes in the first half he's gone over this in seven out of nine of his last um home games so i'm, I'm hoping he can get it done for us tonight so um yeah, that's it. The only odds makers is the prize picks odds, and they just minus 119 everything. So it's literally just a 50 50 shot. Um, so yeah, I feel pretty good about this one. He's done it, you know, more than 60% of the time. So moving on to Lou Dort, um, 1.53s. I feel pretty good about Lou. Um, you know, this is like all he really does. He, he, you know, he's a pretty solid defender, but when it comes to shooting, he's a three guy, you know, um, he's like your typical three and D um he shoots 5.6 three-pointer attempts and he's making 50 percent of them so you know he's shooting really well from the three-point line um and we just need him to stay in the flames for us tonight he's done this in 13 out of his last 20 games he's only hit it in one head-to-head -head, but honestly like he's been playing a lot better since um all of this um he had a really bad stretch throughout the year and um he he's kind of finally getting it back together because last year um, well, I guess two years ago in 2022, he was a fantastic three-point shooter. I mean, you couldn't dare get his line at 1.5 because he was cashing it every night. So now that I'm seeing him heat back up, I feel comfortable taking him. Um, he's gone over this four out of his last five games. He just missed it against Houston. He burned me in that game um, on a sleeper pick, and I just needed him and Chet to get one more three-pointer, and I would have had a big night. But he shot five. He just had one of his worst shooting nights of the um, season or you know of the most recent 20 games there and uh, over the last five he's shooting 52% so you know I'm, I'm all in on this one um, you couldn't pay me to take this under or just fade it um, it's a great matchup for him too 24th and threes allowed and they're giving up 4.5 so this is a good matchup for him against San Antonio um, San Antonio is kind of a dumpster fire right now so not too worried about them on defense if we want to look at the injuries nothing nothing really um and uh this play on daily grind is used to go over at a 51.39 percent chance and a minus 121 so um yeah those are the two i've got and uh i'm gonna pass it back to russo all right guys yeah that's the four we're rolling with um if you haven't yet uh there's a post in the community section of our our channel um with uh our four plays from last night that we would have made a video from so if you want to mix and match these with some of the plays from last night you have those available too we have eight for you all together as usual um and uh yeah if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell um you'll want notifications on just so you can hop on these plays as soon as the video drops because sometimes they get bumped or removed but in addition to that when uh, something changes and we can't get a video out uh, we've got our picks posted there and uh, we also drop slips on there uh, pretty much every day uh, we've been dropping slips on there so definitely uh, make sure you're subscribed so you can uh, go and um, you know check out the plays and the videos whenever whenever they're posted and um, I know some of you guys in like Florida I think that they're changing the uh, I think prize picks is going away in Florida maybe New York as well um, this is why we diversify the platforms we play on in addition to chalkboard and prize picks we also cover underdog um, which will be uh, getting an underdog video out as well um, we do a full segment on underdog um, but if you're interested in uh, hopping on there, um, they not only will uh, match your first deposit up to $100, so $100 gives you $200, but they also give you instant pick -em specials that are unique to you for signing up. So they want to make sure you're getting started on the right foot. So they give you a couple of plays that are going to make sure your first slip or two uh, ends up, uh, you know, having the most upside possible. So just use code backdoor and they'll hook you up with that deposit match and the, the um, instant pick -em specials. Um, but we have a lot of fun over there as well. Um, all of these platforms kind of have their own unique thing they offer. Underdog has a lot of plays that you're not going to find on prize picks either and uh, plays that you're not going to find on chalkboard even. So we like to uh, mix it up and, and use all of these platforms. But um, yeah, if you're looking for another platform, just make sure you sign up for Underdog. Use promo code backdoor and they'll hook you up with uh, the deposit match and the instant pick -em specials. But that's going to do it for us, guys. We hope you have a great Wednesday. Enjoy this eight-game slate, and we will catch you in the next video. Good luck, guys.